Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is differential equation. We have 1 minus x to the power of 2 multiplied with second derivative of y minus 2x first derivative of y plus 2y equals to 0. So I will show the technique how to answer the question. We need to apply this formula that's about y equal to vx. So if we do first derivative, so it means we have vx, we'll do first derivative in here, and we got about v we go first, then s we go later. We know first derivative of s will change to number one, so you got about First, the real property of V S plus V. Next, we do first, uh, we do second derivative of Y in here. So, we will do for this one. Now, according to the product chain, we do this one first, then we do this one later. So, we do first derivative for this one, so you go about second derivative of V, S, and then we have first derivative of V multiplied first derivative of S. This one we change to second. Uh, we don't need to change, sorry about that. So, we will go about second derivative of s this one uh, will change to number one to first derivative of y uh, to first derivative of v so we put in here now we need to replace second and first derivative of y Now we need to multiply and simplify. Y in here we change to V S two. After we simplify everything, we need to arrange. Now, we go about second derivative of V over first derivative of V, and we have for x square minus 2 over x minus s to the power of 3. 
Now we need to simplify this function. If we use about partial function, you will get about negative 2s. We have negative 2 over 1 plus s. Later that we do first the derivative of uh, first. I uh, know we do about integral for the both side. This one will be logarithm by e of absolute value of first derivative of p. This one will have negative 2 multiplied with logarithm by e of absolute value of s. This one is similar. We need to simplify in here. C is about a constant. We can change to logarithm too. So we can put about C in here. So we put E for the both side. And now we can find the value of first derivative of V in here. Because we have negative 2 and we have seen here, we can simplify the negative same 2. So everything we simplify and we got about s multiplied by s plus 1 and we have constant is about c. So in this one, we can get about s square c plus sc now we can do the final result so we can get about v equals to s to the power of 3 over 3 and see number 1 s square over 2 c number 1 and we have c number 2 after we find v we go about this one So we got about y equals to everything multiplied with s. And here is about the final result. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.